classes, but I just suck at YouTube. That's why I haven't been uploading. Anyways, that will change very, very soon in December. But the real reason I am here today is because by the time you are watching this video, um, my new song with Mackenzie Ziegler, Day and Night, is everywhere right now. It's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's on Apple Music. It's out. It's, it's out everywhere. That's where it is. So go check that out. But since the song just came out, I thought we should do a Day and Night Q&A. Okay, here we go. So um, our first question is from Matt Roland, 22 and her question is, what was your favorite part about making the song and are you going to play Mr. Orlando? By the way, I love you. I love you too. And my favorite part about making the song was being in the studio with Mackenzie. And my favorite part about being in the studio with Mackenzie is um, she's really inspiring because she's a really good singer and she's super nice and it's just a good environment to be around. Jocelyn Garcia says, when did you realize you had a passion for singing? So I always kind of had a passion for music. I always loved music. Um, my parents would always play like really old music in the house, and I kind of just fell in love with it. So the next question is from Rolf Jacobs S underscore my. <laughs> what was the best moment <laughs> uh, when shooting or recording your song? Um, I think the best moment, like the funniest moment, was actually in uh, Kenzie's behind the scenes video on her channel. Um, I started freestyling. I was changing some of the words and uh, talked about how I was gonna go to the mall and get some trousers. It was really funny. So, Arisa Loves Johnny says, World Tour? Question mark. But actually, 2017 is gonna be awesome and we're planning some really, really, really cool stuff. And there's some really cool stuff that's already been confirmed that's coming out in 2017. And I'm very excited for you guys to see that. Uh, be Our next question is from Kelly. Nijan, I'm sorry if I messed up that, but one, two, three, four, and her question is how long have you been working on this song? Um, so we've been working on day and night for I think seven months now, just um, being in the studio took like so much time and also writing the actual song um, also took a lot of time, and then after that's done you have to master, um, and then you send it out to all of the different music publishing companies and you organize stuff with media and stuff like that. So it just takes a really, really long time, but you know, it's out. It's like, cop it. Diana Orlando um, asks, what is the best thing when making a song? Um, and I think the best thing when making a song is probably just like the whole environment. Like there's a really, really collaborative, creative environment when you're making a song. Like when you're in the studio, you have a producer, um, you have uh, an engineer, and usually some other people that are just kind of helping you along and like um, giving you different ideas on what you could do. Um, and usually my sister who's behind the camera is also there. And it's kind of, everybody's kind of just collaborating and we're having a lot of fun, but also creating stuff um, to put out to you guys. And I think that's really, really special. Cool. It's the only downside to living beside the train tracks. So. Okay, so our next question is from Diana Orlando again. Uh, she's on fire today. Uh, <laughs> what inspired you and Kenzie to make this song day and night? So, oh my god! So, you know, YouTuber's dream. <laughs> um, so, I want to do this before another train comes. Um, so, what inspired Kenzie and I to make the song um, was, it's actually based on a really, really true story of me and Kenzie and Lauren, uh, my little sister's friendship. And it's that she lives in Pennsylvania and I live in Canada. Um, so, we only really see each other when we are both in LA. And Day and Night is about, like, how two friends, um, like, don't see each other very often, so they have to make the most of the time that they are together. So for our last question, whoa, Jacob says, would you ever come to Europe? And actually, um, I've always wanted to go to Europe. I've only ever been, I think, one time to Italy uh, when I was like seven. Um, so I'd love to go again and possibly do some shows on there. I don't know. I think, I think 2017 might be the year that I go to Europe. 
So that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure you guys go grab Day and Night. It is available right now. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on iTunes. All the links will be right down below if you guys want to go check it out. And if you are new here and you have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys do that. And I'm going to be posting a ton of content over the next few weeks and in December, so you do not want to miss out on that stuff. And all of my other social media sites will be down in the description box below as well. So make sure you guys go do that. Leave a nice comment. Maybe leave a thumbs up too. Um, peace out, guys. When you're caught in the tide.